JJ Man123 here. And today I'm going to be talking about NBA overrated players. Now, these are some overrated players that I think are overrated. You guys comment down below if you guys don't think they're overrated. But in my personal opinion, I do. So, yeah. I'm going to make a list and think about it, and then I'll get back to you guys when I do. Alright guys, so I have five players on my list. Right here on my sticky pad. And yeah, the first player I have on my list is Russell Westbrook. You guys might be thinking, what? Well, best point guard in the league, right? Second best. Yeah, but listen. He's... He does average triple double. Good for him. But he's a stat pattern. I mean, he asks his teammates to just move out of the way so that way he can get a rebound. No one does that. Like, that's not what you do in the NBA. Like, you get rebounds when you get rebounds. There's no point guard in the league that averages 10 rebounds right here. Like, you, you can't just ask your teammates so that way you can get a rebound. That's why he's having so much trouble, because he's never had help like he has. Except Kevin Durant. But now he has Paul George. And he doesn't like what Russell Westbrook does. That's why they're kind of having trouble. That's kind of why I have Russell Westbrook on my list. Russell Westbrook, don't get... I'm not going to lie, he's a great scorer. He can't really shoot, though, so that's a problem. He's not a shooter. But he can dunk. He can dunk. He can go inside. He's a great... He's a great... He's a good all-around player. He's an okay defender. He's not the greatest defender. Yeah, so that's number one. Number two on my list is Carmelo Anthony. Now, I have Carmelo because um, people think he's decent. He's a good shooter and all. But he's not that great of a small forward. He's only he's 33, 34, all that stuff. Sorry, guys. So anyway, like I was saying, um, I think Carmelo Anthony is over. I also forgot to mention, Russell Westbrook, all he cares about is stats. He's a stat pattern. He doesn't care about his team. He don't care. I mean, yeah, the assists, but still, he just wants to get assists. He just wants to get stats. That's all he wants. Anyway, back to Carmelo. Yeah, he's a good shooter, but he's getting out of his prime. He's not like he was when he was with the Nuggets. He was great with the Nuggets. But he's 34. He doesn't want to ride on the bench. He should. He's not a start. He's not a quality starter now. So, I mean, and Carmelo, they, yeah, he might average 17. So who cares? I have another player on my list who averages 17, and he's not that good. He's not an all-star caliber player no more. He's not that good. So that's why I say Carmelo. Um, Ray John Rondo is my next player. Ray John Rondo, all he all he does pass. That's it. In his prime, he used to score with the Celtics, but then he got injured. He dislocated his elbow, and he now all he does is just pass. That's all he can do. He's on the Lakers now. He's an LA, Los Angeles. He's just not that good. He's not a he's not a scorer. He's an assist. All he does is assist. That's it. Hold on. I missed. It was just a little piece of... It was just a piece of trash. Anyway, so yeah. Rajon Rondo is definitely overrated. Because he... He can't do anything. There's nothing he can do. Alright, so next on my list is Al Horford. He's a close Celtic of mine. But listen. He averages 17 points a game. Like, you can't average 17 points a game and be a six-time All-Star. He never averaged 20 points a game in his whole career. Six-time All-Star. Come on. Like, you can't you can't average 17 and be a great player. Actually, that reminds me. Hold on. Actually, not. But, yeah, Al Warford's overrated because, like I said, he doesn't... He, and plus, if you see his free throws, he flinches, like, he goes, 
if he's doing some free throws coming at him. He's done it three or four times. And the next player, the last player on my list, guys might be triggered about this, but it's Steph Curry. I'm putting Steph Curry because the only reason why there's a little bit more. Steph and Curry, all he does is shoot. All he can do is shoot. He can't play defense. He can't go inside the paint. He's he just shoot. He's just a shooter. Now I know King of the Fourth Quarter says he just the presence of him being there is awesome. Not really. I mean, Steph Curry, he can hurt you on the three because that's all he can do. He can't do anything else. It's not just about scoring the three. Like, you've got to do something else. Like, you can't just be sitting on the three-point line scoring. Yeah, yeah, like, there's no one in the NBA who does that other than Steph Curry. Maybe Kyle Clark. Oh, shoot. But anyway, uh, here's an honorable mention on my list. Um, Derrick Rose. No, I'm um, I really don't have any honorable, honorable mentions on my on top on the top of my head right now. I was thinking Draymond because he's an All Star, twelve points a game. Tell me how that works. But I thought, oh yeah, he he almost averages a triple double, which is good. Wow. So anyway, so yeah. So yeah. Draymond, yeah, I guess. I mean, you can't average 12 a game and then be an all-star. Come on. I'm not going to say LeBron, even though I don't like him. LeBron, one of the greatest, play greatest players ever. Some people say Kobe. I don't think Kobe's overrated. I don't think Kobe's overrated at all. Because he's the second best shooting guard of all time. And how are you going to say he's overrated when he's the second greatest shooting guard of all time? Like, you can't say he's overrated. He's one of the greatest players of all time. How are you, you going to say he's underrated? Like, it just makes no sense. And then Michael Jordan? Like, go watch, watch Mojo. They made a top ten overrated players list. That was absolutely crazy. There's some, there was like one or two, I believe, uh, that I say, yeah. But the others, like, you're high. Like, you're drunk. There's something wrong with you. But, see, I'm going to spoil. They put number one, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Is the greatest player of all time, no matter what. I don't care what anyone says. Greatest player of all time. Clutchest player of all time. He wasn't a shooter. Who cares? You don't have to be a shooter. I mean, dude, come on. Like, you don't have to be a shooter to be... If you're not a, shoot, if you're not a shooter, it doesn't mean you suck. Look at Russell Westbrook. Well, he's overrated. I mean, but look... Look at the points, though. Look at the points. He's averaging almost 30 a game. I'm trying to think of another not great shooter, but can still score the ball. I'm trying to think. This is throwback. Kevin McHale. He wasn't that great of a shooter, but he could still do it. He could still do it in the paint, though. Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. He wasn't that great of a shooter. He wasn't that great of a shooter. Look at the numbers he put up. Now, he is the best point guard of all time. No lie. But, yeah. So, that was my list. Right here on the sticky pad. These are the players I said, actually, guys. Yeah. These are the players I said. Russell Westbrook, Carmelo, Ray John Rondo, Al Horford, and Steph Curry. You guys might be triggered about Steph Curry. Right there. Steph Curry. I put Steph Curry on it. But that's the reasons why. Comment down below if you guys want more NBA talk videos. And yeah. Game 1, 2, 3 here. 
and peace.